Hello, this is Steve Walton from Tropic Heating and PatioHeat.com taking a look at a drawing submitted by an architect. Um, this drawing has some of the details they're looking for already placed in this drawing, such as um, they have the heater placement, and I'm kind of reviewing that uh, whole idea here. So we have uh, three on this side here, two over here, um, this uh, walkway or breezeway here, we have two more, and then three over here, and then this structure over here, I'm not 100% sure of the uh, structure itself, uh, whether it's going to look like this or not, but um, I believe it's going to mimic uh, this structure on the left here that we just looked at, and so I'm kind of going with that right now. Also, you'll see that there's some uh, casual seating areas here. It looks like a fireplace and some tables and chairs. Um, entry over here. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the dimensions real quickly. Um, this structure here we'll do first. And so we have uh, 8 foot 3 uh, in its height. And then I believe this is like 30 two or 34 in uh, 34 feet this way 14 feet in this dimension and um, as you can see here I've already placed some uh, these are called slimline units I'm using those because of their um, number one the uh, configuration of the heater itself it's rather um, small in statue we got five by three by I think this is going to be 42 inches um, long there. And um, so essentially, like in this space here, we have um, 500 square feet. I use a multiplier of about 275 B2s per square foot, and that gives you a total required of uh, 140,000 B2s estimated. And um, you're going to see here that um, this. Particular, these particular heaters, I got uh, um, eight of them here, and um, I think I calculated it wrong here, so let me just go, well, let's just go here real quick, and I'm going to look at this um, output by the manufacturer, so what we're looking at is the 42-inch long slimline 4200, so we have the uh, BTU rating of uh, let's just call it 8,200, yeah, 8,200, um, and we'll times that by eight. So we have 65,000 BTUs. Um, looking at the footprint of the Slimline 2400 right here, um, it says it has a coverage of roughly seven by seven when mounted seven to nine feet off the ground. Uh, again, the length here and the watts of 2400 watts. So coming back down here, um, the 2400 and just the beat, uh, excuse me, the uh, the watts, volts, amps, um, and then the weight, okay. All right, so let's just go back here. So seven by seven footprint of heat is what we're looking at and um, we obviously don't have 140,000 BTUs off of these eight heaters, but let's just check to see what kind of ray we're going to get off of these. And uh, go ahead and look here. I got something going on there, funky. So I'll check that out later. Um, in any case, you can see that the coverage doesn't quite meet up in the center here. So that's one thing that we can tell. And then. Um, the footprint, you know, when when I place these heaters within this span, um, the footprint is uh, fairly good. I like to have a little bit of crossover between the two heaters so that uh, the space in between would get um, even heat. So if you had two of the same intensity rays that are diminished over here at the ends, um, you would actually get the same value um, in the center. But uh, in this case, we don't have uh, the placement, wouldn't look right. So um, we don't have a complete 
uh, coverage here. So you can see there's a lot of missing space. Now this particular portion of the structure is dimensionally a little bit smaller, so we're able to push this um, beam over here in the center. But if you look at this, um, you'll notice that um, the seating arrangement here um, is pretty well hit, and I think it's got fairly well coverage with the placement that uh, this designer had placed in here. Um, this particular heater here is heating up a lot of uh, unusable space here. Um, so you have to look at the footprint that the heater actually produces and then where that uh, usable space is actually being occupied throughout this space. So let's go ahead and turn that off for a second. Now these heaters here, we have these up about eight foot nine inches off the floor. Um, we need to maintain the clearance combustibles above and I believe these are gonna be wooden uh, support uh, beams here or post rather. Um, so we're maintaining that and then I also just noticed that there's a space back here that they placed a heater along this wall I believe and um, as you can see if we don't place that heater there we won't get any coverage so I'm gonna have to place another heater back over here. Okay. Um, over here on this other patio section we have 12 by um, 21 and then we have a height of uh, 8 to 7 to the top of the support here and we have uh, five units based on this footprint here. We have this cutoff edge from the building and again we'll have really good coverage here so I think that'll uh, work out just fine in this space. Alright so let's turn this off here. I want to kind of go back into this area here. The designer didn't put anything in here. I'm not sure if they're not looking for heater, heaters around this area. But I'm just going to go ahead and you know add some uh, in-ground heaters. Now the one nice thing about these in-ground heaters um, is that they are placed in the uh, uh, underground vault box so your gas connections will be below grade and if we look below grade we'll see that there's a um, box here and uh, looking in here the nice thing is is that this post um, physically can slip in and out if they're looking to clear the patio um, the support just the post just goes into the support you can lock it you can unlock it or um, uh, yeah so that you can remove it very easily you would also use a quick connect feature for the hose which is again below grade um, so at the end of the day, if you didn't want to um, have the heater installed, you would just simply remove the heater and then you have this plate that's showing there's a cover hole that goes um, over this keyhole space there. So, okay, and then looking at the uh, ray for this, you, know, you can see we have a decent coverage for some of the spaces. This is uh, fireplace I believe and um, just some casual seating areas over here the space here won't have any heaters or heat rather and it looks like there might be a couch um, space over here I don't see any. sorry about that and uh, over here we have this uh, space there's a couple of dining tables here 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 and so we'll get some heat on that and then of course over here there's another dining uh, space here or this might be casual seating. Um, nice thing is you walk into this restaurant you feel the heat you feel comfortable that uh, they've um, supported their customers with a warm environment so that's always a good sign when you walk into a restaurant and people feel that immediately so they feel comfortable about dining in the outdoor spaces. Okay, so that's what I have for this particular plan. Um, if you're looking for a customized plan for your space, 
or just needs in some help like in this uh, example of how the uh, placement that you've chosen will work out we'll be happy to assist you as always thank you for watching have a great day